I hope you had fun messing around with the play and sleep commands and you were probably able to make a much better melody than I did in the last video. One thing that you might have found a little bit tricky was translating these MIDI numbers into the more familiar letter names that we normally work with in music. So I'm not going to go any further before showing you that actually Sonic Pi knows about all of that stuff as well and so it can be really easy for you to start to work with notes in a more familiar way. It's probably not going to be too hard to translate these numbers that I've got in my program right now into the more familiar letter names that we normally work with in music. We said that number 60 was middle C, so 64 is going to be just a few notes above that. So 61 will be the C sharp above middle C, 62 will be the D above middle C, 63 will be the D sharp above middle C, and 64 will be the E above middle C. We can replace these numbers with familiar letter names by just writing a colon and then writing the letter that we want and then the octave that we want. So middle C is known as C4. It's right in the middle of the piano range and so that's the beginning or it's at the start of the fourth octave of the piano. Why are we using the colon here? Well, there's lots of things that Sonic Pi knows about, lots of things that we can refer to. It knows all about letter names, it knows all about scales, it has lots of synthesizers and special sounds that we can use, and all of those are known as objects, things that we can refer to in our programs. And so when we use this colon, we're just saying, right, we're going to refer to something now that you know about. And when we say colon E4, Sonic Pi, in its mind, is thinking, OK, well, I know about E4, I know about Thing E4. That's actually just another way of saying note number 64. So I'm going to play MIDI number 64 when I see colon E4. Don't worry about that too much, that's not a big deal. We'll be seeing these all the time as we go further in our course. Um, but I can just replace all of these with this new sort of note name-based uh, way of talking. So this will be C4, this is middle C. What about 68? Well, if we said that 64 was E, then 65 is going to be F, 66 is going to be F sharp, 67 is going to be G, and so 68 will be the G sharp above middle C. And we can talk about sharps and flats in a couple of ways. Uh, G, S, 4 is talking about the G sharp in the fourth octave. We could also talk about G sharp as A flat, of course. And so the way we do that is by writing A, B, 4. So we use S for sharp and B for flat because the flat sign in music is a B. Same is true of 61. So that's the note that's just above middle C. So we could talk about that as either being C, S, 4 because that's the C sharp above middle C in the fourth octave or we could talk about it being the D flat, 4. Just one more note to work out, we need to translate 69 into the new notation. But if we worked out that 68 was A flat, then 69 is going to be A. And so by writing colon A4, we're saying we want the A above middle C or the A in the fourth octave. My challenge to you at the end of this lesson is to see if you can use the new note name based notation to write Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, a really simple melody that we all know. So if we're playing it in the key of C major, then Twinkle Twinkle Little Star starts C, C, G, G. So we can get the computer to do that by writing play C4, that's middle C, sleeping for a beat, playing C4 again, and sleeping for a beat, then we want a G, so we're going to get it to play G4 and sleeping for a beat and then play another G4. And just to finish it off, I'll get it to sleep for a beat. That's a bit of a clue that you will need that. And so if I hit run now, we should get the first four notes of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Excellent. It's a bit slow, but that's how it goes. So see if you can finish off this melody, maybe just get as far as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are. And you will need to use something to make sure that some of your notes are further apart than others. And so see how you get on with that, and I'll see you in the next video.